at Cole Eye Institute, you have these attendings that are literally internationally renowned. Um, you have, you know, uh, Dr. Elias Trabolzi, who's known across the world for his um, concern about ocular genetics. You have Dr. Martin, who has run the most amazing trial in retina um, uh, regarding Lucentis versus Avastin. You have Arun Singh, who is one of the few ocular oncologists in, in the country, and he's right there and teaching you every day. Um, and I'm just naming a few. Honestly, in every subspecialty, you have individuals that are um, not only great with patients and you can learn patient care, but you have just these experts in the field. So I think that if I had looked back, I would wish that I had just taken, taken it all in. You know, I have three years to learn everything there is to know about the eye. It might seem like a small organ, but there's really so much. And at Cole, you just had so many internationally renowned attending physicians really there to not only take care of patients, but to really teach you. And you could just, they were kind of, I don't want to say at your disposal, but that's really what they were. Anything you wanted from them, any kind of mentorship, questions about patients, questions about your research, questions about your future, they really were there just to help you um, in addition to taking care of the patients. And I think that I wish that I had taken that in even more than I did. I'm currently at Kresge Eye Institute, and um, here I'm involved in research activities with the residents, and I'm also Associate Residency Program Director. And I very much enjoy having the residents in my clinics and teaching them, and I think that Cole Eye Institute set me up in the sense that I really kind of aspire to be like the teachers who taught me. I really want, I, I set up my clinics after clinic is over. I do what similar, something similar to what Dr. Kaiser and Dr. Trabolzi did, where we sit down and we say, what questions do you have about the patients? Do you know why I did this? Do you know why I didn't do that? Um, and even uh, I also instituted Grand Rounds quizzes, which are something that we had throughout our residency at Cole Eye Institute, which I thought were so helpful. So now all of our residents here at Kresge take Grand Rounds quizzes, and they have found them very helpful in preparation for their examinations and their boards. And so I think that it really set me up for an academic career, which is what I'm on right now. I was very productive in residency with research, and that wasn't because I was an amazing research, you know, academic re residence, because I really had mentors there um, who really uh, helped me pursue those interests and really walked me through it. And, you know, they'd spend hours in clinic with me and then hours on weekends re reviewing my manuscripts and helping me understand how to make them better. And I feel like they really taught me a lot to understand what I needed to do now. The Annual Resident Research Day is something we have every year where all of us residents as well as the fellows and some of the faculty do present their uh, findings from their research projects that they had over the year and um, it kind of prepares you to start thinking like a research scientist and um, it kind of gives you that insight into what a national meeting might be like or what uh, what you might strive for in the future. You know, it really set me up having that first year, which I wasn't that research active, having that first session, it uh, had you prepare your talk uh, and you saw other your other um, colleagues' talks and your mentors' talks and your chief residents' talks and that really set you up to understand what you want to do in the future and, you know, start your research career. I specialize in strabismus with pediatric and adult population. And I remember being in Dr. Trabolzi's clinic and just understanding why he might bring one of his strabismus post-ops back, you know, one week, two weeks, or six weeks later instead of vice versa was really helpful. You, you can read about the protocols in the book, but to really understand the nuances of care and why they're making the decisions that they're making is really helpful for real time and bringing that to your own patient care when you're out and about in the private world. Um, and I also, I remember a clinic that I remember very fondly, Dr. Kaiser's clinic. Um, he's a really, really great patient advocate. Patients loved him, but he got through so many patients. And, you know, getting through and being able to give your care to so many people, but in a really good way, not sacrificing quality, I think I look up to him as well. I grew up in the suburbs of Cleveland, and I just think that it's a great city that you can call your own. Um, you know, you have great restaurants in a bunch of different areas, whether it's downtown or Tremont or where I grew up in the eastern suburbs. Um, you have tons, tons to do, uh, and, you know, it's also a great place to raise a family um, or just to do great outdoors things as well. There's great parks, uh, and it just, it's, it's a nice environment. It's, it's not a big city, but it's definitely a city with a suburban feel. 
for any time that I was in residency, for example, studying, I'd spend three hours studying and then I'd spend, you know, an hour uh, with uh, my parents who were in town or, you know, or with my significant other who's now my husband. Um, and they would kind of calm me down and put everything in perspective.